The great perk of being in Bangkok is that a couple hours of car ride can take you to a completely different scenery and vibes. So here is a top recommendation for when you want to tap into the cultural side of this beautiful city away from the busy metropolis. My first recommendation would be Wat Pa Le Lai Voravihan, located one and a half hours away from Bangkok in the province of Subhanburi. This temple is over 1,200 years old and the territory of this temple is huge with incredible architecture. Just on the outside of the temple is a local Thai market where you can buy cool handicrafts, local snacks and drinks, and souvenirs. One of the main characteristics of this temple is the seated Buddha. We usually see statues of standing Buddha, but here he is depicted sitting on a chair. A new building is being constructed on the premises with beautiful and unique architecture. Not far from Wat Palelai is the new touristic attraction, the Dragon Paradise Park. Entering this place was like walking straight into historic China. This is the recreation of the Lijing village of olden China which existed around 800 years ago. The architecture and the vibe of this place is really really cool. The park is so huge, I'm sure you'll be spending at least an hour or two walking around this place embracing the architecture and the sculptures. Dragon itself is a different topic of its own. It's huge and the detailing is amazing. The atmosphere inside has an ancient vibe with places like an inn, theatre and even an ancient windmill that is true to the original. Quick tip, there is a spot where you can see the entire city of Subhanburi and a museum that is in the shape of a dragon. Inside the museum, there are 29 rooms in which every room is showcased the history and the culture of ancient China that can be dated back to more than 5,000 years. Also, don't miss out on the Xiaoling statues. Our way to another province, Ang Thong, which is located 40 minutes away from Subhanburi. Google Map took us off the main route where we stumbled upon some dirt bike tracks, seeing people pulling off some cool stunts. My followers probably know my passion for bikes by now, so this was something really cool for me. I'll have a link in the description below in case you are interested in seeing. Wat Muang Ang Thong is a monastery and temple complex that is a house to the 92 meter tall statue of the Sitting Buddha. It is the highest Sitting Buddha in the country, at least for the moment during the release of this video. The highlight here is that the devotees can seek blessing by touching the right hand of the Buddha. Look how tiny a 6 feet guy like me look in comparison to the Buddha statue. The inside of this temple is so dreamy with mirror mosaics where you can also find statues of Hindu gods including Lord Shiva and Lord Ganesh. So practically, I visited both China and India in the same day. This temple is very popular and appreciated by the locals. But as Ang Thong is not a famous place amongst international travelers, tourists don't really know much about this place. Consider adding Loburi and Ang Thong to your list during your next visit to Thailand. While heading back to Bangkok, we visited Wat Chadon Rad Bamrung, or also known as Wat Nong Prong Lok. There are statues around the temple and the details are just spectacular. The highlight of this temple is that the inside is made of well-crafted woods like never seen before. The last stop is the royal monastery Prapatom JD. The JD or stupa is the oldest Buddhist structure in Thailand. This stupa is the tallest in Thailand, heights going up to 120 meters. A large standing Buddha can be seen in the Vihan and in the base of the statue, the ashes of King Rama VI are installed. I would like to end this video with a famous Buddha quote. What you think, you become. What you feel, you attract. What you imagine, you create. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to Travel with Arun. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.